In today's video, we're going to discuss taking a simple amplifier chip like this. This costs 20 cents. You can get them five for a dollar off eBay. And adding a volume control to it, because it's just a straight step up amplifier. Uh, we have our inputs here, left, ground, and right. Here's it takes five volts plus and minus, and then over here's the output, left and right speakers. Now to do this, Logic says, well, I'll just control the govern what's coming out of the speaker. And that's fine. You can do that if you take all the precautions and you know, resistors, capacitors, keep the, the impedance low on the, the back field of the chip so you don't fry it. Uh, I'm going to show you a way to do it to where you don't have to worry about frying your chip ever. Not unless you overpower. If you overpower anything, it's going to fry it. But with this method, you'll be able to govern this chip or one that you take out of a dollar store um, speaker, any anything, any auditory circuit that is solid state, you'll be able to control it without loss, and also you'll be able to control it without burning it up. So stay tuned. Here's what you're going to need to to do this project: soldering supplies, wire and strippers, and times are hard. You can always, you know. Do the old burn the wire. Potentiometers, of course, because well, we always need potentiometers and wire, because that's what controls our resistance. Like I was saying, this circuit, we need to put the volume control prior to entering the chip. So to do this, you know, we have input here. It could be from your guitar, it could be from an MP3 player, uh, from your cell phone, from your head, you know, anything. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a quarter inch jack. Uh, I use quarter inch jacks a lot just because they're kind of universal. I have a 1.5 adapter or a 3.5 adapter here. So I can really plug anything into it with an aux cord. But we're going to take our ground, which is the sleeve on the jack, and grind it straight to the pot. We're going to take the positive, which is the, the tip. We're going to bring that around to the right hand lug. Now the right hand lug is the input, so therefore the center lug is the output. We're going to run the output around to the left channel of the amplifier. Now you can bridge this on its way in so that you can use both sides of the amplifier to output to two speakers. That's a whole other video series on bridging amplifiers. Here we're going to ground the left lug back again. We're making a standard volume pot, so we're going to ground that left lug back. Center lug is going to be our output, and our right lug is going to be our input. For a volume control, it's always that way. That is never going to change. Um, unless we get funky with some other things, and we'll cover that in other videos later. So then our output is going to come to the left, like I said. And our ground just jumps off the ground. All the grounds stay together. So this will give us a volume control to control this chip's output by controlling its input. It's just a straight step up amplifier. There's nothing in here where you can adjust the amount that it steps up or you know the the amount. Um, it is a PAM 8403. These, Like I said, these things are five for a dollar off eBay and it's three watt stereo amplifier. Runs off five volts and we're gonna push one of these chips to the limit because we're gonna try to run two different signals through the channels and see if we can get two different signals amplified so and they both have volume pots and the whole nine yards so it's it's it'll be a, a hard schem well the schematic was easy but we'll see if it works practicality is a whole other story so this is how you can add it again very simple uh, if, please like the like the video subscribe share them with your friends thank you for watching